Well, good afternoon guys and welcome to a freezing cold Stockholm as usual nowadays. But in today's video, make sure you have your royal crown and your cape close because we are heading to the Swedish royal palace, as you can see in the far distance. But we're not gonna enter the palace actually. We're gonna visit the royal chambers in the cellar vault underneath the castle. And we're gonna check out the regalia that's kept there. So join me. Just had to make a short pit stop on the way, but check out this sunset over here. It's very rare in Stockholm, but it's actually super beautiful today. But uh, let's continue and I'll see you guys on the inside. Might be a dark one, because it's pretty bad lightning, just for information, but let's check it out. So this one, Seems to be some kind of funeral crown for Luisa something. Looks pretty cool. I guess that's gold also. Actually, it looks like a cellar vault down here. You can see the tiles on the wall. And check this out. Let's see what it's used for. This seems to be the coronation. I don't even know the pronunciation of the cloak for the Queen of Sweden. Oh, and you can see all the crowns here on the fabric. Looks like some tails or something here, actually. Let's see what it looks like from behind yeah it's a massive cape or something I hope you wear a cape today and a crown now what is this thing baptize something I guess looks like silver it's absolutely massive it says baptize small font it's from 19, let's say 1696. Wow, it's all one. Looks like some angels down here. All right. Well, check this out. This is diamonds, I guess. Wow. And check out the sword. You can see all the engravings and diamonds on the handle. See what this is. I H S. It says Braid Swedish Orders. Yeah, wow. Well. All right, see what more we can find. Here you have the crowns. Wow, you can even see the golden crowns on top and it looks like a blue fabric or something. Is that pearls, maybe? Check out the green ones over here. Looks like emeralds. This one is from 1902. And let's see here. This one in the middle is from 1860. It's a lot smaller. And this one is from 1844. Prince Oskars Krona. And in Swedish, Krona is a crown in English. But there are actually a lot more. Here we have number there is a number on everyone here which represent the crown and over here there is a small description of what it is so let's say number 19 it's from 70 uh, 71 and then it's uh, let's say 19 this one then wow this small one must be for a kid I imagine 
Wow, this one looks also very beautiful. I guess they are very similar. I mean, these one also have pearls and uh, blue fabric. And they all have the green emerald looking stones on the sides. But let's see, there is actually two more rooms in here. So let's see what more we can find. Wow, check this painting out. Don't really know what it symbolizes. And I mean, just for reference, but it's massive in here. You can see the ceilings are super high. And it has the shape of a vault like this. And they have some protection here, like a transparent plastic shield to cover. It's actually a fabric or maybe a carpet. Let's see here what it is. Wow, I guess this is pure gold. Check this key out. Number 14. This is... Let's see what it's in. Do not touch the showcases. Rory Montrana. This is probably the key of state. I don't really know what kind of door that would be. Maybe a treasure chest or something. Check this crown out. And just for information, he just said that you are not allowed to touch anything, of course. Wow, and these swords over here. Wow, check all these stones out. Wow, this was a lot cooler than I thought actually. It looks very beautiful. I hope it comes through on camera. The number 36 is the closest one. And this one is princely sword. It's made in Stockholm actually. 70, 70, 1772, it says. Wow, it's a very old one. Let's see if we can walk around it. Here is a red one. Check out all the, all the diamonds and, and stones there. This one is actually red compared to all the other ones. I mean, these two are blue. And they even have, I mean, check one in the middle. It has a lot of gemstones and the big red in the middle and here there is, I can't really see what it is, but it's a big stone in the front and a few small green ones in the middle and of course the crowns covering the whole, I don't even know what it's called, maybe it's a cover for your sword. Oh, wow, check this one out. Holy shit, this one. It must be all diamonds. This is the Swedish Queen's crown from, yeah, it's almost 300 years old, 1751. Wow, and you can even see on the top, there is kind of a circular shape or a globe shape thing. And it's also blue and have those small crowns and the diamond cross on top. Yeah, wow, this one was cool. I actually never been here before. I've been in, living in Sweden all my life, but this place I've never been to. I'm kind of embarrassed. Here is the king's crown. Oh, wow, this looks a lot different actually. You can see it have the red fabric on there. I don't even know what's called in English. And you have a lot of different stones. And wow, I don't even know if it comes through on camera, but at the bottom, like beside, let's take the green one in the middle. Just on the sides of that one, there are small, small, small shapes in different colors and it looks like carved faces yeah wow and these ones are probably diamonds and what's this it's 
like a circular blue thing with also a cross on it. Well, let me check this out. Wow. I don't know if you can see it, but like there are tons, tons of small, small gemstones on there. And of course the diamond cross probably representing Christianity, of course. If you didn't know, but Sweden has been Christian since forever. And here is... Looks like a globe. But also, of course, some pearls there. You can even see some carvings. Yeah, it's actually a globe. Maybe an old map. And there is, of course, from 1561 here, this key of state. This looks like pure gold, no stones or anything on it. And here you can see from the other side of the king's crown. That looks super cool. All right, let's see what more we can find. Here is a chest. It's an iron chest from 1732. It's a chest for the regalia, actually. Wow, so maybe they were put in this one there before. And here it's the lock. And you can see, it looks like some lion's feet. This must be a very heavy one. I don't have to come through, but here is a big handle. And maybe you can lock it from up top because it looks like a lock system. All right. And here we have another crown. This is from 1650. Wow, this one looks also very cool. A lot of diamonds on, uh, or I mean uh, pearls on this one. They keep the same kind of uh, design on all of them. The blue ones and the yellow gold. Let's see here. What's this? Wow, looks like one of those from the Aladdin movie. Maybe you can even take, you can see the small chain there. Maybe you can take off the lid, maybe. This one is from 1606. Anointing horn. I don't even know how to pronounce that one. You can probably show me in the comments. And let's see, seven and eight, this one. Let's see, it's from 1585, 350 years old. Wow, pure gold. And the globe in the middle, you can see all the pearls surrounding the... And of course the mandatory cross on top. And here it looks like some more swords actually. This is as much as... Sword of State. It's Gustav Vasa. Maybe you know about him. And if you know about Vasa, you know the Vasa ship, of course, which is another museum here in Stockholm city. But yeah, this one looks very different. It doesn't look as luxurious. This looks more like a... Wow, you can see, I don't know if it comes through on camera now, but there is tons of carvings along the sword there. And also on this one on top, Maybe these ones were more for battle. The other ones, they look too fancy. And you keep them, store them in these ones. And here you also have a blue and a red option. But yeah, I like this one. This one looks like you have like a steel handle. And these ones over here for protection. Wow, it's a cool space. As you can see, you can walk around all this area here. It's very cozy feeling, I have to say. Very beautiful place. 
I think maybe there was another room. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from here also. So there is one room on that side and a small room on that side in the entrance. But it's not a big museum. But this one is probably one of the best I've seen. Let's check the last small part out before we're leaving. I, ch I think it's over here. Yeah. Here it's also actually looks like a, probably not a key of states, but something. Oh, maybe this is the storage unit for the other keys. It's actually a shape of a key. Wow, yeah, you can actually recognize here you have the globe shape storage unit. And these ones are probably for the one we saw. Yeah, wow. And what's this? This is an iron chest from early 16th century, where they were storing the crown jewels until 1732. So this also looks like it has like a lock system. And if you didn't know, but this picture over here is what the Swedish uh, royal palace looks like before actually, because it burned down in 1697. And then they were building actually a new place over a period of 60 years. Some epic regalia, right? Thanks for watching this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.